Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Todo and Todoist. First of all, both of these tools are really great to use and they're really simple to use. I will compare main features, the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools and also what I like and don't like about the main features and how is the pricing in these tools. So let's start. Now, there's a huge advantage Microsoft Todo has comparing to Todoist. So if I would be using Outlook, if I would be using other Microsoft products, I would definitely go with the Todo. That's like no talking when I was working in a sales few years back, I was using Outlook and Microsoft products a lot. I would definitely go with the Todo only because I can sync it with Outlook. I can plan my days and it's like perfect. Now, both of these tools are simple. This is the huge, this is disadvantage in these tools. That it's like too simple. So if you are looking for complexity, you won't find it at all. Now I will show you as I, how it works, right? So in Todo, you just simply create a new list. Let's go YouTube videos. Or you can go like with your own day that you want to plan in your YouTube videos. I'm just going to write, create a script, my first task. When I would open it, I can see it edit to my day. So I can go with a project to my day. I can remind it. I can add a due date. I can repeat it or I can add a file or add a note. Now in left bottom corner, you can simply mail it. You can go to calendar. You can invite people and files. So. And that's pretty much it. This is how it works. And this is how a to do life is. So, right. It's priority for a task. You can simply also change the theme here if you want to. And that's pretty much it. Now to go further, you can also create a group if you want to, to do do is, let me show you. So this looks like this. I got the dark theme and simply I got a own like inbox. Then I got to see, uh, like my list here, or you can view it as a simple Kanban board. Now, when I'm going to click on task, I can simply create a subtask, but many things are behind the paywall, like labels and filters. You need to pay for it to be able to use them. Uh, Todo is completely for free. Microsoft Todo is completely for free. Pricing in Todoist, as you can see, you got free for starters and many people is enough to use the free plan. Then you're going to see the premium version and business version, right? So you can simply choose between these three also to go further um, and to like summarize this whole video, because there is not so much to talk about. Both of these tools are amazing. I would use Microsoft to do if I would use it for, uh, for connecting to multiple Microsoft apps like Outlook and Todoist is a really great as it is. And that's pretty much it. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.